Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new Android Studio tutorial and this time I'll be showing you guys how to, how to convert a website into an Android app. So this is one of the most requested tutorial, I guess. So all you have to do is that we have to bring up a, a window and just go to the text. We have to change the relative layout into a frame layout. So frame layout. and. As we know, if you guys have watched my video on how to create a browser, I have discussed about how you can use the web view, which help us to introduce a website or something just like that one into a Android app. So all you have to do is just go to the design and we have to bring up the web view. So here is the web view. We can drag it over into here. And next we have to add one more line called Android ID just give an ID for the web view next we have to go to the main activity just show the web view just let me get as WV and after that we have to show the web view here also so WV equal to web view in the brackets okay then find view by id or dot id dot wv is the id we have given in the activity main dot xml wv dot get settings dot set javascript enable set javascript enable and that is true so this is one of the important code that we have to add okay guys so i have added this much codes and these are one of the these these codes are the major codes that we have to add to fit the the website into our application correctly so next thing that we have to do is that we have to show the website whether it's on device itself or it have to be loaded from the internet so what we have to do is that we have to show the website link first so we have to create a string and my page or my website or anything equal to here goes your if you have a website one lane or if you guys have a blogger or wordpress website then you have to enter the wordpress id just like https slash then if you have a blogspot account my page dot blogspot.com and if you guys have a wordpress then you can type wordpress and uh, in the my page this is your page name so we are going to do with the page that we have and this is for the people who have a custom domain and a hosting their self so they probably have a home page called index.xml you may guess uh, you may guess know about it i don't want to show how it goes so here is a side page and here is the error page the error page will load it when the when the android app found that there is no uh, proper internet connection with your android device okay my page slash index dot html let's show the second one string then again my page error equal to same as this one, let's copy. And here we have to add my page or my page error. Okay. Now let's show the page here. So we have to add wv.load URL and the string value my page okay my page so when the user open the application it will load this or the blog id or blog address you have given so we are going to add a page from our app itself so if there is no internet connection it will load this one so we have to show that so for that we have to add wv dot set web view cleaned and that is a new web view cleaned so now as you can see i have added a web view cleaned and which is a um, we check for the proper internet connection 
and here is a public void one received error which identified the error and loaded the second url or second address my page error so here is the my page error so the final thing that we have to do is that so the final thing is that we have to create a folder called assets so for that right click on the rest go to new go to folder and you can create the asset folder here just press the finish and here is your asset folder and what you have to do is just go to create a new directory uh, as we know the directory name is my page so my page again create one more directory for the my page error so my page error then press ok so now we have two pages and in the folder I have already a page this is your original website just copy all the things from here right click and paste it over in the my page so click the paste ok and again just go to the second error page just copy this and close and we have to paste in the error page okay close it to HTML okay the final thing that we have to do is that we just go to the manifest manifest and just we have to give the permission for internet if the app need a, a internet connection to load some content from the HTML pages we have to give the internet so we have to add use permission then internet again use permission access network state okay now we have our application finally let's go and run it on your live device and check it out guys so here is the app so let's go everything is working perfect let's tap on somewhere else and here we go so everything is working let's go to the drop down let's link one let's see what happened 